Let's see how these things turned out. Holy sh**. Hello and welcome back. So a little while ago I had printed something for my brother out of Matter Hacker's Build Series PLA, which is my go-to filament mainly because it's cheap. And you can usually get a bundle for a pretty decent price. Anyway, he left the print in his car all day while he was at work, and it ended up melting from the heat in the car. So I had to reprint it for him. This made me want to experiment with leaving prints in my car just to see which filament would melt the least. Which leads us to this video. The first thing I did was decide on something to print. I wanted to go with something that already looked fragile to ensure maximum melting. So I found this wireframe skull and printed it out of the following three filaments. As I mentioned before, Matter Hacker's Build Series PLA in black, Pryline TPU in yellow, and finally, the one that I think will melt the least, Overture PETG in black. Now that they're printed, the only thing left to do is put them in the car. Alright, so here we have it. It's about 7.50 in the morning, probably 70 degrees, but it's supposed to reach 90 degrees today, which if you live in Florida, you know when they say 90, what they really mean is 290. So in the car, it should probably reach about 5,000 degrees. <laughs> anyway. Gonna leave them up here on the dash on this Chinese food takeout lid. <laughs> and we'll come back in 24 hours and see which one uh, looks the worst. All right, I'll see you soon. All right, it's nice and hot out. Ended up waiting until a little after one. Let's see how these things turned out. Holy sh! All right, so the first one we're going to take a look at here is the PLA. I'm not surprised. I knew it would melt pretty well in the heat. But overall, it has retained pretty much the skull shape and the face, I mean. And as you can see, it's sunk down pretty well in the middle here, or on the top to the middle, which is kind of cool. It's still a nice bowl. Anyway, let's move on. All right, and next up, we're going to have the TPU, which surprisingly held up pretty decent. See there's some that kind of broke away here. I think it was something like that. Anyway, it's still squishy, but other than that, it looks pretty good. I mean, I could just break that off and you'd never even know, right? Pretty good. All right, let's get these two out of here. Next up is the PETG, which I thought for sure would be the best of all three. It would hold together better than all three. However, <laughs> that's not the case. Other than the little bit of skull features you can still see there, this is almost unrecognizable. I don't know why this one got the worst of it. Um, PETG, let me, I can take this tape off now. PETG, um, you have to have a lot higher temperature to melt it, so I thought that it would withstand the heat better. But yeah, clearly wrong. Let you look at that one. I don't know. Nevertheless, pretty interesting results. 
Here they all are side by side. At any rate, that's all I've got for you today. If you liked the video, leave a thumbs up. Thanks for tuning in. Catch you in the next one. And as always, have the best day ever.